Hi YouTube, Miles from Nexus Core here. Uh, I have my standard Shadow Paladin deck profile and a message to tell you to play premium. Uh, your starter Svirlbow, on ride draw. Then your grade three lineup is four Gust Blaster Dragon. This is the new ace and it's actually good. Um, so its first skill is when it attacks, you counter plus one and retire two rear guards. Uh, pick one of your, you draw a card, your opponent retires one of their own rear guards, uh, and then this unit gains 10k. But its other skill is whenever your rear guard is retired, uh, if your if your soul has a grade three with blaster in its card name, this unit gains an additional crit. So the idea with this deck is you just like you put your opponent to one or two damage, and then you just stack three to four crits and win. Um, yes, your opponent will PG. It's the same issue with uh, Phantom Blaster, which is the next grade three. Um, this one sucks. Uh, it's counter blast one, retire three of your rear guards. Your opponent chooses three of their rear guards and retires them, and then this unit gains 15k and a crit. Uh, then if your opponent has no field, um, four or less cards in their damage zone, you can soul blast a grade three and deal one damage to it. Uh, yeah, it's as mediocre as it sounds and can be stopped by a PG. You run four blaster dark, you can drop it down to three and run a fourth maka. I do uh, four of these because I like to ride it. It's a good first turn ride. Um, it's when it's placed uh, on Vanguard Rearguard, you can counter blast one and your opponent picks a rearguard and retires it. Um, not that helpful now with Gust Blaster because your opponent having an empty field isn't as important, but um, uh, edgy OC, right? Uh, and then it's other skills once per turn. If your opponent has no rearguards, you can discard one and give it a uh, twin drive. Um, so like, it's nice, you know, you get uh, a second you can hit twin drive by turn two so like yeah that's cool um and then i only run three maka uh i actually see her too frequently funnily enough and i just oftentimes i'm like hey i don't need this card uh i don't need this card skill as much so that's why i run three over four and i run four blaster darks but um she's a good ride target too her skills on vanguard or rearguard once per turn you can counter blast one and call a grade one or less card from your hand anywhere to the field. If you do, draw a card, and then this unit gains 5k. So if you call Charon, uh, it's a free draw, basically. Um, good card. Uh, then we have this new one. Well, not new anymore, because his deck profile is like two months old, or two months overdue. Uh, Dark Bond Trumpeter. Um, so when she's placed, you counter bust one and search your deck for a 5k unit, call it to rearguard as rest, and then shuffle. And when your 5k rearguard is placed, this unit gains 3k. And that's whenever, so you can stack it. So this allows you to search out Nemin um, or search out the new Swordbreaker, which is another draw. So it's like a plus, plus two. Yeah. Or uh, plus one. Um, and then I run two Cursed Lancer. So uh, I'm dumb and I don't pay attention to erratas for standard Vanguard, uh, only buddy fight. <laughs> so um, this card, it says this card must be called to an open rear guard uh, when you would call it from hand. Uh, it's actually, this card must be called to an occupied rear guard. So you have to retire something in order to call it. So you run that because it, it procs Gust Blaster. Um, and you only run two because of that restriction. Uh, three, four is a little too heavy. Uh, then it's other skills when it's placed. You can Soul Blast one, and this unit gains 10k, so 20k um, or 30k on uh, force. And uh, if you have no face-up cards in your damage, and you get to counter charge one. So I like it because it's a counter charge without having to be superior called like Charon. Um, and Charon should have been a 5k. Uh, so, speak of the devil, here's Charon. It's 8k, should have been a 5 uh, it's when it's placed due to the ability of a card, whether it be from hand, any, you know, anything, uh, you can soul blast one, you counter charge one and it gains 3k. So if you use that with Maka, it's a free draw. Um, and then that becomes a 26k column. That's cool. Uh, like it's a good card. I just wish that it was, uh, it had more applications. Uh, then you run four of the new Blackwing Swordbreaker. Um, when placed, counterblast one draw, and if it's placed from hand, this unit gains 5k. So you can, like, you can call it whenever you want and get the draw off. So that's pretty neat, actually. It doesn't need to be called by abilities, uh, like the past Swordbreaker. So I think that's really cool. And it's another 5k that you can call out using Nemin. Uh, so Skull Witch Nemin, her skill is rest this unit and search your deck for a 5k card. Um, call it to an open rear guard and shuffle. The ability of cards with Skull Witch Nemin cannot be used, uh, can only be used once per turn. So basically, like, if you use it with one Nemin and you call it another, that Nemin can't use its ability. Uh, it's how, it's what 
Buddy Fight does better by having ability names. And then you just run one Abyss Router. Uh, when placed, you still bless one and call a grade zero from your hand uh, to rearguard, draw. Um, I just do that because you can, like, call her, uh, get your soul out, and then you can call a zero on top of another card and get a draw off. So, like, the draw is nice, and uh, if you're trying to go for the kill, then you can call something over a rearguard, and uh, that way you have uh, you get another retire, basically, which adds another crit to Gust Blaster. Uh, now for trigger lineup. We got three Death Feather Eagle. You run six crit. Triggers don't have skills anymore, so it doesn't matter. Uh, four Abyss Healer. Four of uh, Dark Shield Maclear. That's the PG draw trigger. And two Howl Owl. Uh, you run more draws because it's Shadow Paladin, so they retire. So you actually, you know, want resources. And um, uh, you don't need eight crit because Gust Blaster is already stacking a ton of crits on top of it. In fact, if you really want to try it, try eight draw. You'll probably deck out, but it'll be fun. Um, so that's the deck profile. Uh, there's only one other card I would look into running and I, it's, it's, uh, I, for, I forget exactly the name. It's a 5k grade one in skill is like you retire it and give two units 3k or something. Uh, if you're going to run that, maybe just take out Abyss Router. Um, I, I, I don't know. I like Abyss Router. I think it's a fun card to use, but you can run that card. I know it's a promo and I haven't picked it up cause I still don't know the name, but, um, I it really doesn't change much. If you're just playing the game normally, uh, then, like, yeah, if you're just playing the game normally, then um, you're going to get your opponent to, like, two or three damage by the time you ride to Gust Blaster. So, like, sacking crits isn't a big deal, and you literally need to use Gust Blaster's own skill to get off the th uh, to get off a three crit attack. So, like, don't worry about running too many heals. Um, anyway, so that's the deck profile. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, tell me the name of that 5k grade one promo so I can run it in my deck. And, uh, yeah, um, that's all. Y'all have a great night.